What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got my 98 overall attribute update for you guys. So I haven't made an attribute update in about three and a half months since I hit 96 overall. So some of my animations have changed, but a lot of them have stayed the same because I've mastered them and I feel really good using them. First of all, let me show you guys, I'm 5.5% to 99 overall and I'm pretty sure it is a single bar to 99 and I really hope it is because it took me so long to get from 97 to 98 because it was just a double bar and I was so demotivated to grind it because once you get to 100% you pretty much get nothing and then you have to do it all over again. Also I do have 122,000 VCs so make sure to comment down below what mascot you guys want me to get next. So my build is a 7 foot tall max weight max wingspan playmaking post scorer and this doesn't matter too much but I'll tell you guys some of my important stats. I have a 92 standing layup 77 driving layup 72 driving dunk 81 standing 79 contact my mid range is a 64 my three pointer is a 63 but with my jump shot i can still hit pretty consistently especially from the corners my ball control is a 64 and i can actually speed boost when my alpha dog is activated and when i have takeover when i get it from assists i think i have to have at least three or four assists i'm not 100 percent sure yet my passing accuracy is an 81 which is the thing i love about this build and a lot of people ask me why i made this build so basically in nba 2k 17 my primary build was a glass cleaner and in nba 2k 18 my primary build was a slashing glass cleaner so i kind of got bored of being a rebounder primary even though a glass cleaner is a very good build one of the best inside builds in the game and it's probably the best to win with but i wanted to change i wanted to have more fun playing the game and be better on offense because number one it would make it more fun for me and my teammates to have another scorer on the team and i also thought it would help me make better content being a post scorer instead of a glass cleaner and i did make playmaking second because number one you do get the playmaking takeover which is super fun to use and number two, I get Hall of Fame Dimer at 99 overall. And the good thing about me having Dimer Gold right now and passing accuracy 81 is that it fits my play style perfectly. I'm 100% a pass first player. Playmaking helps a lot when being a team player. My post scoring attributes are at 88, which is pretty good. Once in a while, I'll miss a full bar shot, but it doesn't happen that often. My rebounding is at a 78, which isn't too bad. The only builds that can get rebounds over me are pretty much lockdowns because they have a higher rebound and glass cleaners. But other than that, as long as I box out, I'll be fine against every other build. My steal is a 72. My shot contest is a 74. My vertical is a 54, which is not too bad for a big man, but it's not great. Lateral quickness 53 is pretty slow. My speed is a 62, which is higher because I do have playmaking secondary. Same with acceleration, 63. My strength is an 88, which is good. Sometimes I will get bodied by big men, but as long as I pull the chair, I'll be fine. And then my stamina, of course, is a 99. Let's go to the badges. I have, I think, 11 gold badges, which sounds kind of bad because I don't have any Hall of Fame badges. But once I do hit 99 overall, all of my gold badges will go to Hall of Fame. So I have Postman Technician, Up and Under Specialist, and Drop Stepper. Those are the three post scorer badges I have. Then I have Lob City Passer, which is an amazing badge. It's super fun to use when I have lockdowns and slashers on my team and shot creators too. And because it is gold instead of bronze or silver, sometimes I can even throw lobs to sharps, playmakers, pretty much any build. Break Starter is amazing. I haven't played threes in the longest time. I played it once for a video not too long ago, but I've been playing twos only because threes barely gets me any reps since I don't do a lot of the scoring. Since the way to win in threes is by shooting a bunch of threes and I am an inside build. I do have Quick Reflexes Gold, Brick Wall Gold, Relentless Finisher Gold, which is an amazing badge. Probably one of the best badges in the game in my opinion. Same with Dimer Gold. Then I have Bruiser Gold, which helps me to body other people. Difficult Shots Gold, which is great because it helps me with post hop shots. And I can also make moving shots, not super consistently, but kind of consistently. Then I do have Acrobat and Posterizer Silver, which will go to gold once I hit 99. I have Pick and Popper Silver, which is an amazing badge because it can help me shoot a lot more consistently. That and Unlimited Boost help me so much to shoot much better. I do have Pick and Roller as well. Then I have Free Throw Ace, Flashy Passer, Tireless Scorer, Midrange Deadeye, which is actually really good because it helps me for post fades as well as midrange jump shots. Then I have One Man Fast Break and Teardropper, which are okay. They're not great badges, but they definitely help. And then the bronze badges, I have Putback King, Charge Card, Pick and Roll Maestro, which is kind of surprising. I don't really use it because when I play twos and threes, I am the big man. And even when I play Pro-Am, a lot of the time I do run the five on this build. And speaking of running the five, Bronze Hustle Rebounder helps so much, which is kind of crazy because when I go up against Glass Cleaners in Pro-Am, like 7-3 Glass Cleaners, a lot of the times I have more rebounds than them. Yesterday I was playing that double rep event. 
I ended up getting 21 rebounds in a game, I think it was. It was either 20 or 21. And the game after that, I got 16 rebounds. And these were both at center. One time I was going up against a glass cleaner. One I was going up against a rim protector. I also do have Lob City Finisher, which is an okay badge. Rim Protector, which helps a lot in the paint so that slashers, shot creators, a lot of builds that take inside shots in the paint, they won't make BS shots on me as much. Unless they're big men and they're 7'3", every once in a while they'll make a BS shot. And finally, I do have Defensive Stopper, which is probably one of my best bronze badges. And other than that, these badges don't matter except for Alpha Dog, which I was talking about earlier in the video. Microwave matters, and these other badges really don't matter as much. And like I mentioned earlier, I do have Unlimited Boost, as well as Unlimited Gatorade. Unlimited Gatorade, it's good, but it's not great. Like, I don't notice that much of a difference. Maybe it's because I'm not a guard and I don't use my energy all that much. But unlimited boosts, they make a huge difference in my player. In case you guys were wondering, I am an Elite 3. And here are all of my stats. I have a 70 win percentage. I shoot 73%. And I shoot 58% from 3, which is actually really good because most of these games are on my big man. I think I've only played maybe around 30 or 20 total games on other archetypes. And here are my stats at the Jordan Rec Center if anyone cares. I have about 1600 wins and 700 losses. And here you guys can also see all my other stats for all the other game modes where you use on my player. Now for the part you guys have all been waiting for, my animations. If you guys want to know my jump shot, make sure to go to the very bottom of the description. There is a link to my jump shot video. For my free throw, I use Kobe Bryant and it's a perfect free throw for me because it's not too fast and it's not too slow. And I've perfected it because I've been using it since NBA 2K16. For my dribble pull up, I used to have normal 4 on, but I recently changed it to athletic 3. I'm still trying to decide which one's better. So I suggest you guys also try out normal 4 and athletic 3 for yourselves to figure out which one's better for you. Both of them are really good. For my spin jumper, I recently changed it from Steph Curry to normal four normal four is better for sure and then for my hop jumper I changed it from James Harden to normal two and James Harden has a lot of flashy hop jumpers but for normal two it's more of a quick hop jumper it's not flashy but it's very effective for my post fade I've had post fade three on for the longest time I have perfected it post hook three I've had on for a while as well but I don't do post hooks unless I do them accidentally so I don't think that really matters as much for my post hop shot, I have post hop shot 1 on. Some other good post hop shots are 7, 8, and 10. 6 is okay. But early in the year, I used 7 and 8. I tried out 10. It's kind of cheesy, but I don't like it that much. And with hop shot number 1, I did perfect it. So I suggest trying out 1, 7, 8, and 10. With the post shimmy fade and post shimmy hook, they don't really matter. I don't use them much. Especially the post shimmy hook. I don't use that at all. But post shimmy fade... I do have number eight on as you can see the animations are decent but a lot of the post shimmy fade animations they don't really matter because i guess it's more of the fade animation that matters going to the dribble moves normal four is an amazing crossover it creates so much space and same with the behind the back normal two these moves together if you combo them together on a fast break in threes or on pro-am they are amazing for my moving spin i have normal six and for my moving hesitation i have normal three and if you pair these two moves together you can do a hesitation and spin back to the three-point line. It's an amazing move that I like to use to get me back to the three-point line, to get my man to step up. Sometimes I'll pull the three, and sometimes I'll drive right past them for a layup or a dunk. My standing and moving size up combos, you can see right here. They don't matter that much on a big man. I hardly ever use them. Same with the size up package and the double hesitation. And all these moves on the bottom here don't matter as much, but I'll show you guys anyway. Triple threat style is just a preference. I have normal 15 and normal 8 for the triple threat size up. For my layups, I have long athlete. I'm pretty sure that's the only layup package I can get. And then for my dunks, as you can see, I don't have any flashy dunks on at all, except for the park dunks. I just have a lot of basic dunks right here. I have the rim grazers off one. Under basket athletic flushes might be the best dunk package that I have. It is amazing. There's one animation that makes your player jump really high and you don't get a contact posterizer animation, but it's so easy to posterize people with it because you jump so high and it's so hard to block. Then I have rim grazers off two, big man hangs off one. Big man baseline reverses, which is a must have if you are a big man. I have quick drops off one reverses off one and that's it i only have seven dunks and with the park dunks i just have all of them equipped and these are the only two flashy passes that i do have i do have the kick pass but i don't have it equipped because it is kind of slow and that's going to be it for my animations once again if you guys want to know my jump shot make sure to click the card above or go to the link at the very bottom in the description and if there's anything you guys think i left off or just any questions you guys have in general make sure to comment below and i will get back to you as soon as possible 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below any questions you guys have about my animations, about my build, whatever. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.